Welcome to Basic Tasks in Excel 2013 Part 2. And just a friendly reminder that you can download the internet version of this official document by googling Basic Tasks in Excel 2013 from Microsoft's website. So where we left off here, we're going to clean up this little mess here. I'm going to highlight these informations by clicking and dragging. I'm going to press delete. I'm going to highlight this and press delete. And we want to apply a nice number format to our different money amounts here. So I'm going to delete the sum as well. We don't need that. Or actually, we'll leave it Control Z or Control Z. Let's highlight this money amounts, these money amounts. And we're going to click on this nice home tab, this button that says general under the number section. We're going to change the number format. And you can change it to currency. And you can see that we have nice dollar amounts, including the cents with a nice dollar sign there. And if we change these numbers to the format called accounting, you can see that all the nice dollars and cents, they line up so that you can make less mistakes. Okay, I'm going to continue on here making a nice table. I'm going to type in rain in centimeters, and we have a dirt in, in cell E2. I'm going to click down here, and I'm going to type in some numbers. I could type in 4, 6, 8. We'll just make up some random numbers here. But I'm going to use autofill to do this quickly. So I'm going to press delete here. I'm going to highlight the first two numbers, 4 and 6. And you know what? I want this to be centered. So I'm going to just uh, highlight column D and E. And I'm going to actually apply this formatting to the entire two columns. I'm going to choose center here. This is center your text. There we go. That's really nice. And I'm going to use autofill. I'm going to highlight these first two numbers. I'm going to hover my mouse to the bottom right corner until you see a black plus sign. This is called autofill. I'm going to click, drag, and you can see that pow. Excel is pretty smart. It knows that we need to jump by twos. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Excellent. And of course, you can't use autofill where there is no pattern. We'll just say that the more it rains, the less the dirt there is. So let's just choose the dirt. Let's we'll just say there is 120 units. And we'll just say the dirt goes down by fives, 115. And if this list was very long, this would take a long time to type in. So I'm going to highlight these first two numbers. I'm going to move my mouse to the bottom right corner. There's a black plus sign. Drag all the way down. And there's a nice autofill counting down, pow, really quickly. OK, so now for one of Excel 2013's new feature, I'm going to highlight this information. You can see this nice colorful box in the bottom right corner. It's called the Quick Analysis tool. Click on it. And this is just another way of doing things. You can see that they have the formatting uh, where you can just change the, the use data bars and use color scales. But what we're going to do here is we want to find some totals. So we're going to click on totals. And there are some common things we use, such as finding the sum. You can see that we add up all the rain and all the dirt amounts. So we can find the average. And you can even have some charts here. So these are the recommended charts. You can, this is a nice uh, dirt chart. You can see how it's uh, going down. And there is even this option to choose a table. So I'm going to just choose this nice table here. Press click on it. And this quick analysis button here is not absolutely necessary, as you can find all these individual things up in the menu bar anyways in the ribbon. Just another way of doing things. So that now that we have a table, notice these little drop down boxes. We have rain and right now it's going from small numbers, little rain to lots of rain. So I'm going to click on this. You can even sort it from rather than from smallest to largest, from largest to smallest. So now you can see there's a lot of rain and then it gets lesser and lesser. And it's the it has an inverse relationship to the amount of dirt. So I'm going to press Control Z to undo that. And in fact, you can even hide certain amounts. So if you want to hide the amount of dirt when there's six and eight centimeters of rain, I'm going to click on this little box here. I'm going to unclick this checkbox, six and eight. Click on OK. We're essentially hiding this information. So it's not deleted, which is nice in case you have some 
important customer or student records and you don't want to delete the student permanently, but you can always get it back by unhiding it. Click on this nice little box here. Click on the check boxes, six, eight, ta-da, and we have them back. Okay, so now let's type in student A, B, C. I'm gonna double click between G and H to make this a bit wider. Let's give some grades. Let's highlight this table again. After typing in test one, test two, we have 70, 60, 90, and you remember how to center these. You can always highlight this actual data and then choose center. And what we're gonna do with this table is we're going to use this quick analysis tool. And lots of things are here. I'm gonna use the color scale option. So you can see that when we click on this, you can get a visual representation of who's doing well. Now, of course, if you want some uh, more options, I would use conditional formatting as this conditional formatting would allow you to have some more choices as to how these colors work. Okay, so it's always a good idea to save your work. So let's go to File, Save, and you would save it somewhere to your computer. So for example, you click on Computer, you can uh, save it to your SkyDrive, you can browse for the correct folder, and you can even click on Desktop and save it somewhere with an appropriate file name that you'll remember. I'm gonna click on Cancel, press Escape if you want. Alternatively, to save, you can press Control S, or click on this nice little floppy disk button over here. And let's finish off this video by refreshing ourselves on a taste of how to print. We're gonna to go to File Print, or Control P, File, Print, and you can see what happens here depending on your printer that you have. You will see a nice print preview, and we're on page one. On page one, it's gonna look like this with the rain here, and you hit this little nice arrow here, next page, and you can see here, this is the second page. And you have a number of options here, and one major option is whether you want your paper in portrait orientation, which runs up and down, or landscape which is sideways. And if you choose landscape, then you will be able to squeeze in some more information on page one. I'm gonna leave this on portrait and just want you to pay attention to what's gonna happen here. We have the rain here at the end of page one. I'm gonna press escape. And what's happening here in Excel is you have this ni nice dotted line. This nice dotted line gives you a, a hint of where it's gonna cut off on the page. So you can see this here is gonna be page one and this here is gonna be page two. Okay, so excellent job on learning the basics of Excel. Hope you stick around and watch some more videos. And thanks for subscribing.